So this is a Shia uh, scripture about Prophet Solomon. So let's see what Prophet, according to Shia Islam, uh, what was Prophet Solomon doing at some point? So he was apparently walking and Prophet Solomon was walking on the be beach and let's see what happened. حضرت سلیمان سلام الله علیه یه روز کنار دریا قدم می زدن دفعتا چشمشون افتاد به یه مرچه ای چه So Prophet Solomon on the beach saw an ant on the beach okay? and he was just looking at that ant سمت آب دریا جلو می uh, and the ant was walking towards the water towards the sea so Prophet Solomon was like following an ant on the beach moving towards the sea نگاه کردن دیدن یه دونه گندم به دهن این مورچه است و راه اه ان هی ان دی انت هاد ام لایک ا سید ویت هم لایک ا سید دت واز هولدینگ ا سید دریا رو داره طی می‌کنه ان ایت واز گوینگ تووردز دی سی حضرت سلیمان سلام الله علیه این مورچه رو تعقیب کرد بنی سو پروفت سلیمان بک دن رایت هی سید دیسایدد تو فالو دی انت saying where, see, to see where this ant is going. نگاهش. دیدن مورچه نزدیک شد و نزدیک شد و رسید لب آب. So the ant was getting closer and closer and closer to the water. به محض رسیدنش لب آب یه لاک پشتی سرش از آب در آورد. So as soon as the ant got to the water, there was a turtle came out of the sea and you know brought his head out of the ocean. Okay, right at the where the ant was. And the the turtle opened his mouth and put put out his tongue. And this sir ant, I don't know why he's referring to the ant as a sir, but the sir ant went on the tongue and went into the turtle's mouth. So the and so basically the the ant climbed the tongue of the turtle and went into the turtle's mouth and the turtle pulled back his tongue in and closed his mouth oh yeah and prophet solomon was like what's what the hell what's going on here and solomon prophet solomon was thinking so hard like what was happening here why did this ant went into the turtle's mouth and then the turtle, oh yeah, the turtle oh, closed his mouth and then went back into the water. So the turtle went into the water. So and then the prophet was like, why did the turtle go into the water? شروع کردن قدم زدن کنار آبه. And Prophet Solomon was just walking alongside the water on the beach, just thinking about what he just saw. دریا یه مقدار زمانی گذشت. حالا ما میگیم یک ساعتی. And then a couple, uh, some time um, passed. So. And this mullah is saying, let's say, for example, one hour passed. Hazrat Suleiman صدای به هم خوردن آب شنیدن. Oh, and hear the water moving again. Surat شنو برگردوندن دن لاک پشت از آب مد بالا. And then he saw that the turtle is back. The turtle just came back in the, uh, from the uh, from the sea. اومد تو خوشگی دهنش رو باز. I came on the land. سرد و زبونش رو آورد بیرون و مورچه از رو زبون این لاک پشت اومد پایین. So the turtle came back. From the sea onto the land, and the turtle opened his mouth, and his tongue came out, and the ant came back from the mouth of the turtle back to the land. And he didn't, and the turtle did not have the seed with him or her. I don't know it with anymore. And the turtle went back, closed his mouth, and went back into the water. So yeah, so kind of like a submarine. And the turtle took, went on, uh, on the land and just went on his way. Hazrat Suleiman خم شدن و این مورچه رو برداشتن گذاشتن کف ده. So Prophet Suleiman went to the ant, took the ant and put the ant on his on the palm of his hand, uh, hand, the ant on the palm of his hand. سه شنو حتما یه سلامو علیک و احوال پرسی با این مورچه کردن دیگه. And they did the uh, the proper etiquette of like saying hi to each other and respecting each other. So. The prophet told the ant, like, hi, how are you? And like said the, the ceremonial, like, um, you know, things that you're supposed to say to each other to be polite with the, the ant and the prophet exchange word with each other at the beginning, at first. And again, because this is the Islamic thing to do, right? Like when you want to be polite, 
obviously like apparently this is not part of the narrative that uh, the prophet and the ant exchange uh plight come through with each other but, but he says obviously that's what the prophet did because that's the islamic thing to do <laughs> And so the prophet, after ex oh, exchanging pleasantries, is that I think that's how you say it, right? So after the exchanging pleasantries and stuff, the prophet uh, asked the ant, like, "Where did you go? What, what, what was this? Where did you take the seed?" Go of Ya Nabi Allah, Khudaman um Ma'amur Karda. So the ant says, "Oh, prophet of God, um, God gave me a mission." As rezghe ye kerme na bina ye na tavan ro dar qar in dar ya beres. There to bring food for this blind worm that lives under the sea. Okay, so my mission from God is to bring food to a blind worm. By the way, I looked this up. Um, worms in general are blind, like they don't have eyes. So I don't know. He's he's saying like blind as if this specific worm was blind, as in like he was more poor than other worms because he had. A handicap, but all worms are blind, so I don't know if he knows that. But anyways, apparently this worm was, which is a poor blind worm that lives under a rock under the sea. Uh, God had given a mission, so that makes sure that he has food to eat. But go on, Anna, you want to say something? Yeah, like I want to say two things that um, in in Judaism, um, Solomon is not considered a prophet, but in Islam they basically took all the kings and turned them into prophets, also with the uh, Dawood and uh, Suleiman, every single one, they just um, bring the word prophet to, to an, any important person. Uh, and also, like, think of how Islam is scientifically accurate that it knew that worms are blind even before it knew, oh, yes. knew it. Yeah, and that yes, there are right. sea worms. I didn't know that there are sea worms before, before listening to this. Yes, this actually shows that Islam is this is a miracle. The fact that Islam knows that we have sea worms and that they're blind and they have no eyes. Okay, good point. Good point. Um, Islam confirmed. خب بعدش گفت چه این مورچه گفت من روزا یه دونه گندم به دهنم میگیرم میام لب آب دریا so apparently the ant does this every day. Every day he takes a seed, he goes to the, uh, by the uh, edge of the ocean and the turtle comes and kind of like acts like a submarine for the ant. And the turtle takes the ant to that worm, that blind worm. Um, and the ant, the ant feeds that worm and then come back um, and does this again next day. Oh, he's always right on time, right on the hour he's there. Uh, to to do this mission oh he actually says submarine i was making fun of him he actually mentions that this turtle submarine shows up every day on time for me to get uh to get on board i was just making fun of him he actually did this model is actually mentioning submarine but go on anna you see Arnie? You see that Islam it invented submarines even before right. the Europeans invented them. Okay, we should learn yes. from the Islam the reason why the Arab world, why the Muslim world is behind is because it doesn't learn from the hadiths and the Quran. Right. If you just return True. to the Quran, you can find an answer to anything in the Quran. Everything. Sure. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's finish this. Yeah. میادش بالا دهنش رو باز میکند من میرم رو زبون این دهنش رو بنده من اون برید قعر دریا خوردن من و این دونه گندم بر این لاک پشت حرامه حق نداره از یاد oh and he says that it's a haram it's sin it's a sin for me as an ant and that turtle uh, as a turtle to eat the seed the seed is specifically for that specific worm and god had made it a sin for me to eat that seed and for that turtle to eat that seed as well. That will move on. Man on where are the area to on the sangi chain chairman or be no zindi jim on that on that rock that this worm is uh, living. It would takes me there every day. He has a pedo. There's a hole there in large push the honey should be on surah mix there of a surah to tell him on Oh, so this is actually very really interesting. So every time when we get there, the turtle puts his mouth on that war on that hole. That the worm is in, and he sucks out the water from that hole because the ant needs to go 
into that hole. The ant can't go into a hole that has water in it. But so the turtle sucks out the water from that hole. من از دهنش پیاده میشم میرم. And I go from the turtle's mouth into that hole. دو نگندو میگذارم کنار این کرم. بر میگردم میام سوار میشم لب آب پیاده. And yeah, so I will put that seed into that hole, and then I go back right on the turtle, and I come back. Allah azamatu, Allah. I like the, this is the greatness of Allah. So he's the thing. This is all a confirmation of how great Allah is. Yes. I Amazing. have a question. Why Allah yeah. doesn't make a penguin do this whole job? Take a seed, go underwater, and give the the seed to a, to a worm. Like a penguin can do all these three jobs. Why? Why spread it? It's hot because it's hot where Suleiman is. It's too hot for a penguin, obviously. Obviously, see, this is why you give missions to Allah. Allah knows best. Allahu Akbar. 